everybody, it's Jace with Marshall Made Collectibles, and today we are doing a retro review. First off, I was able to pick up two very important grail pieces to me uh, in the past couple weeks. The one in front of us is uh, from about 14, 15 years ago, and it is uh, Hot Toys MMS 106, and that is their Alien Big Chap. And the other one that I picked up right here is the Indiana Jones DX05. Been dying to get my hands on this. Uh, the cool thing about both of these pieces that I picked up is they are both still sealed. It's like opening a little Hot Toys time capsule. Like I said, in front of us is the Alien Big Chap by Hot Toys. Let's go ahead and give that box a spin. On the front, you see the skull and the whole head. Uh, there is a clear acetate over that. I kind of like that because it, it's reminiscent of the clear dome on the alien itself. On the side, you have some ligature, armature. I'm not quite sure what that is, uh, but it's part of the alien. It might be part of the head because the whole box, I think, symbolizes the head. On the back, we just have the legalese plus that clear acetate. Again, we come to the other side, and again, it is, I'm taking it is the side of the head with like the tubes going back. And then once we come to the front, again, it's the alien head looking down at it, kind of at an angle. You've got that skull front, the slip cover removed. You can see the box with this cutout of the actual alien figure inside. Other than that, the box is pretty much black. On the front, you did have the cutout, plus it says the alien big chap. And on the back, again, we have a little write-up and everybody that helped uh, produce the figure. My box got a little crinkle there. Actually, it does not bother me at all because this sucker is sealed. As I said, sealed at the bottom and sealed at the top. And with the clamshell removed from the sealed box, we have one of the first, I would imagine had to be one of the first backdrops that Hot Toys has ever given with a figure. And if we open that up, we get a very nice uh, stiff cardboard floor plate. And uh, the other part is the backdrop itself of the spaceship which I think is amazing that they included this and uh, if this will fit in my DTOF I will definitely be using it. I, I love stuff like this. On to the figure itself. Let's go ahead and remove uh, the top of the plastic clam and then we'll get out the stand and then we'll get out the figure because there's not a lot with this guy. Okay and here is the stand and I love this stand. I am honestly surprised they have not reused this a million times, even like for some Star Wars figures. Now, this is the same stand you got with Ripley. It's the same stand you've got with the Alien Warrior, except they had the name imprinted. Love it with the acid blood drops. The only thing that I wish this stand had was a... Uh, crotch grabber that went up uh, with this figure being as expensive as it is you do not want this to take a shelf gainer you got extra hands in that they are just covered by the instructions which are taped over and kind of look like they're grabbing god the paint apps on this are stunning i can't wait to get uh Big chap out here and take a look at him. That's one hand, the other. Okay, he is out of the box on his stand with another stand up underneath it. So I could use a crotch grabber to protect him and keep him from falling. I've not done any kind of posing or anything. I just moved the tail out to the side. Uh, the hands that are on him are actually like bendy hands, so you can do those in any kind of uh, thing that you want. I do like the the pre-posed hands because they kind of look real menacing, and I'm probably going to put those on him. He is a lot. He's a lot to look at. He is completely sculpted by Hot Toys. There is not a piece on him 
that's ever been used before, seen before, maybe pegs, that would probably be it. Um, everything else is stunning. He is stunning. I'm going to go ahead and start the turntable so he can spin around. I will have some up close and personal pictures because he's gorgeous. If you're into Alien, into that Geiger-esque kind of design and everything that Alien and Aliens is known for, this piece would knock your socks off. Just looking in the amount of detail, the paint shading, everything other than my statue that is a like a marmot uh, statue I've done a review for that I got on Sideshow. Um, this is probably the my favorite thing in my alien collection. The neck looks a little thick. That's not that's the only thing I can like ding it on. Like the base of his neck seems thick. But other than that, he is God, that head sculpt is just gorgeous. And this is translucent. Close and personal pictures, you'll be able to see that that human skull like detail that's up under the dome. He does have a trigger mechanism that you can pull and it makes his inner mouth come out. Now we're going to do that and it'll probably be the only time I will ever do that because I don't want to strain the rubber that's around the mouth where it could like rip or tear because that is old rubber. If I look at it and think that it might tear, then we're going to stop. The paintwork and the depth of the paintwork is insane. If you look right here, there's a little trigger mechanism that as you push forward, it makes the lower jaw drop down and those inner jaws come through. Uh, once you get right here, you feel a little resistance. That's because the further you push it, it makes that jaw pop down even further and makes the inner jaw jut out. But the strain on this rubber that's like the tendons on the mouth I am not going to attempt it to just see the inner mouth come out once because I don't want to ruin my figure. And real quick, I wanted to show you the alien on his little backdrop. No stands in this scenario because I'm right here. So I've got him posed up the way I want him. Got the uh, posed hands on him. I've got him kind of in a crouched position and I've got the tail kind of, instead of just doing that curly cue, kind of like going behind him where it could jut out forward and stab somebody. Um, got him kind of turned at the rib cage, which is kind of a separate area. So I'm not worried about the suit in that respect. The arms are bent basically the same bend that they were in the box and the leg bend is very similar as well mostly capturing this with the upper abdomen joint and the head uh, and then the tail and um, moving the wrist pegs to get a stance or look that I like where I don't feel like I'm taxing the 14 15 year old rubber suit at all so he's Stunning. He's beautiful. Can't wait to have him posed up and uh, in the detail near my uh, statue. Thank you for watching. If you're new to our station, go ahead and hit that uh, like and subscribe button. It means the world to us and it helps my little channel here grow. Uh, if you hang back, I will have some HD photos here at the end of him. Uh, I'll try to do some really good 4K up close and personal, some macro shots as well. Again, this is Jace. Thank you for watching. Take care and stay safe.